Let's do it. Yo! What up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Time to get busy with some personals. I have two personal boxes of Allen Ginter. Going to my boy Gary. Let's get it done. All right, Gary. So... I have one, two, three, four, five on the left, six, seven, eight, and nine on the right. Choose your boxes and I will do them for you. Two and seven. So here's two, and here is seven. Yeah, Dave Chris Fitz, you th you think that little of me? Again, no disrespect, but no, I'm too smart for that. Uh, Richard, I used to play Apex, but I have I, I I deleted that. I have so many games to play, dude. Well, that's precisely why I said what I said, Chris Fitz. Nah, I'm just kidding. Listen, as long as you're working, every job has its pros and cons. As long as you're out there making an honest living, I will always be your fan. But if we're talking about me personally, I have certain standards. That's just me. Anyways, speaking of standards, let's get my boy Gary some hotness. Thank you, uh, Gary, uh, and good luck. Actually, uh, Fitz, it's funny you mentioned that. I was talking to my mom earlier this weekend, and she wants to buy another house. And I was telling her, why don't we just sell this house, flip it, and then go out and buy two more houses. You know, if you want to live in one, go for it. But I want to live in one and rent it out. You know, I already have a few friends that are willing to, you know, move out of their situation and, you know, get a house going. So it's it's definitely something I'm interested in. You know, my mom's already done it, so she's done it a few times. So it's definitely something I wouldn't mind getting into real estate and whatnot. I remind you of Gibraltar. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, Gibraltar is the Islander from Apex. Isn't that the dude with the shield? I think I know who you're talking about. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't. I would always play with the with the girl, with the uh, 
Think she was like a medic or something? But yeah, I I, I was I played Apex is only fun when you're playing with friends. You know, when you're playing by yourself, it's kind of boring. So that's why I deleted it. Then I went and I looked at my library, like past games that I've downloaded, and then just deleted. And what's what's great about the, the PlayStation Network is. Like, let you know, I'm sh Xbox does the same thing, but I'm not sure if it's the same with the with Xbox Live. But on the on the PlayStation Network, you know how they give you two free games every month. Well, in okay, so if you didn't know, PlayStation gives away two free games every month, and as long as you have it in your library, you can download it whenever. So that's what I was doing for a while. I would just, you know, whenever they had like free games, I would add them to my library. And like over the weekend, I was like, huh, let me check out. Let me check it out. And I have like over 60 games just chilling there waiting for me to download. Wow, they really host those tournaments on ESPN? It's kind of bonkers. Man, if I knew that video games could turn into a career, I probably would have, you know. Man, who would have had the foresight to, to picture that one? Because I mean, we used to have like little Madden tournaments, you know, amongst us as kids growing up. But who would have thought, you know, that's an actual... Uh, tournament based thing now it's ridiculous but anyways this is a personal box so I don't really have to worry about sorting this so Gary what are we trying to hit in this man let's uh, speak some greatness into, into existence here It was a Jimmy V Foundation thing. Yes, Louise, this is a personal. A rip card or a red auto. Let's do it. Stingel. What is it? Cars to three hundred fifty two or higher are short prints, I think. Or is it 351 or higher? I think it's 351. Here's a rip card. There you go. Rip it or keep it. Paul Molitor, 39 of 75. You know, unless you want me to rip it. Sending that your way. There you go. Oh boy. I wonder what's in there. Gary, are you sure you want me to rip it? 
I'm going to let you think about it. I'm going to let you think about it. That's a high number. So Gary, you want me to rip it? As I approach the end of this box. This is true. You know, they don't call us Rip City cards for nothing. Alright, let me finish this box and I'll rip it for you. Everybody cross your fingers, cross your legs, anything you can cross, cross it. Let's wish Gary some luck here. That's a short print Posada. Game used, Mr. Doolittle, Nationals, Relic. Freaking Post Malone. Alright, the man wants me to rip it, so I'm going to rip it, and just so I have photo, uh, video evidence, absolutely rip it, you are Rip City Cards and all, oh, LOL, that means laugh out loud. Alright Gary, the proof is in the pudding, let's see what's in this, what we can have, Red Mini Auto, Exclusive Mini Parallel, or a mini wood parallel, or a mini metal, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. I know my boy wants a red mini auto. So here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, this one's a lot easier than last year's. This is like a sticker or something. Oh, nice. They put a white paper there so you couldn't, like, see through it or something. Well, it's a pool hose in there. At least it's a high number. 353. Not autographed, unfortunately. That's what was inside the rip card. Sorry, man. I know you wanted an auto. And not sure if you want it or not, but should you the rip card do? Yeah, at least you got the rip card. And just don't show the back. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep it going. Oh, let's see what's in the box topper. Hopefully an auto. It's a Lindor. Not autographed, unfortunately. 
a Lindor Indians box topper there. And let's see what's in this box. The average is what? Like two rip cards per case, right? I mean, I've only opened one case of Ginter. And there were two rip cards in it. Actually, three if I count the box topper. Yeah, three. Yeah, it seems like rip cards are more valuable if you don't rip them. But then, you know, then you, you're stuck with the question, well, what's inside of it? You know, you could have the rarest card known to man and not even know it because you don't want to rip the card. Second box mojo, good luck Gary. Calabor. Relic for Posey of the Giants. It's a high number that Hicks. Okay. 
these in blue. Tiger mask, that's so cool. Garcia Brewers Relic. That's a high number there. Alright, what else we got? Like a 101 or something, man. Well, at least an auto is in this one. Mr. Hater of the Brewers. Isn't that autographed? Wow, Molitor was also a Brewer. What are the odds of that? go. Josh Hader autograph Brewers. What else? Alright, let's see what says in this N forty three. Hopefully an autograph in here. Let's see. It is Manny Machado in the N forty three box topper. In the oversized box topper was a Lindor, which was in the first box. So let's do a recap. We got Relics 4, Arcea Brewers, Posey Giants, Doolittle Nationals, and Arenado Rockies. There was a rip card. Mr. Molitor to 75 for Brewers. We ended up ripping it. And there was a Pujols high number SP back there for the Angels. And our autograph was Josh Hader of the Brewers. And that is going to do it for a break. Thank you, Gary. Hope you like it, my man. We'll get it out to you.